Life, they say, is like a winding road. You move in straight lines and navigate tough corners through the regions and the shadows. struggle with truth and doubt. Life was never made to be easy. But with faith, hard work, and a heart unafraid, you will reach the mountain top. Find the light that you can carry inside you. Through rough patches. You journey towards your goal. But knowing why you do it, for whom you do it, makes all the difference. But at the end of your trail, you live for the joy in the smiles of those whose lives you have touched. Not for any fame or glory, but because you chose to follow the Lord's path. To shine God's love into the darkest corners. And lead on to the light. I am called. I am a divine word missionary. Good day, dear brothers and sisters. We welcome everyone as we celebrate the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time, with the theme, The Quest for the Real Reaches. We are also celebrating today the Indigenous Peoples Sunday and the Extreme Poverty Alleviation Day. We are exhorted to pray for these two categories of brothers and sisters who are most in need of solidarity and love. The Mission Communications Foundation Incorporated of the Society of the Divine Word SVD brings to you this Eucharistic celebration at the Salita Hall of the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word, Christ the King Mission Seminary, E. Rodriguez Sr. Avenue, Quezon City. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Bell San Luis SVD, Executive Producer of Family TV Mass. And as one community and family gathered in Christ, let us all begin 
our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. A pleasant good morning to everybody, brothers and sisters. Good morning, Father. So uh, we come together on this Eucharistic celebration and um, we again pray for our brothers and sisters who are uh, suffering uh, during this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Marami pong mga kapatid natin, ang kababayan, na may sakit dahil sa COVID uh, virus. At um, yung mga na iba naman ay uh, talaga pong hirap na hirap sila sa kanilang uh, pangangailangan at uh, kanilang mga financial difficulties at this time. So, uh, dear brothers and sisters, it is especially uh, a very important uh, day about extreme poverty, alleviation day, and also poor indigenous peoples that uh, we share. We reach out to the poor people and this is what uh, our Lord Jesus Christ wants us to do finally let us pray that this pandemic will end uh, soonest so we pray for this special intentions as we prepare ourselves to receive Jesus in the Eucharist let us reflect on what makes us unworthy to do so. Lord Jesus, you are the incarnate wisdom of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you challenge us to detach our hearts from all material things. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you promise eternal life to those who renounce everything for the sake of the gospel. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after and make us always determined to carry out good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. I prayed, and prudence was given me. I pleaded, and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I preferred her to scepter and throne, and deemed riches nothing in comparison with her. Nor did I liken any priceless gem to her, because all gold, in view of her, is a little sand, and before her, silver is to be accounted mire. Beyond health and comeliness, I loved her, and I chose to have her rather than the light. Yet the splendor of her never yields to sleep. Yet all good things together came to me in her company and countless riches at her hands. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long. Have pity on your servants. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Make us glad for the days when you afflicted us, for the years when we saw evil. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Let your work be seen by your servants and your glory by their children. And may the gracious care of the Lord our God be ours, prosper, the work of our hands for us, prosper the work of our hands. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, indeed, the Word of God is living and effective sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating even between the soul and spirit, joints and marrows, and able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. No creature is concealed from him, but everything is naked and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must render an account. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We honor the Holy Gospel. today's gospel passage, Jesus stresses the importance of remaining free from any form of enslavement. He also emphasizes God's generosity toward those who make the gospel 
their highest value. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man ran up, knelt down before him and asked him, Jesus, good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus answered him, why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments, you shall not kill, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, you shall not defraud, honor your father and your mother. He replied and said to him, Teacher, all of this I have observed from my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, you're lacking in one thing. Go sell what you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. At that statement, his face fell, and he went away sad, for he had many possessions. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, how hard it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were amazed of his words. So Jesus again said to them in reply, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were exceedingly astonished and said among themselves, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For human beings it is impossible, but not for God. All things are possible for God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, uh, the words of our Lord in today's gospel are very uh, disturbing or uh, uh, like um, uh, having... Uh, a prejudice uh, against the uh, rich. So we said, how hard it is for, rich, for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to enter the eye of the needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Talaga pong nakakatakot itong nabanggit ng ating Panginoon at uh, parang uh, mabigat itong uh, kanyang uh, binanggit uh, laban sa mga mayayaman. Well, what does this mean? Does our Lord mean that the wealthy, the affluent, are almost impossible to enter the kingdom of God? On the other hand, are the poor necessarily privileged to enter the kingdom? Alam niyo mayroong isang uh, tao nagsasabi ng ganito. Uh, sinasabi na uh, money is the root of all evils. Uh, pero sabi niya, uh, well, nakabukas naman ang aming bahay at yung mga gustong uh, magtanim uh, ng uh, pera ay magagawa na nila any time. So, ibig sabihin, I would like to have money even uh, if they uh, bring it to my house. Uh, so, uh, in other words, uh, it doesn't mind whether it is the root of all evils. But of course, there is also a root of all good. 
not only of evils. And that is what, uh, what uh, I also want, that uh, I can use this money in order to help uh, our seminarians coming from poor families and also for those who are suffering from this COVID-19 pandemic. Now, what does our Lord mean by this? That it is very difficult for the rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. Alam niyo mga kapatid, ang ating Panginoon ay mayroon ding mga mayayahaman na pinupuntahan niya uh, katulad ni uh, uh, Nicodemus. Uh, siya po ay isa sa mga pariseyo na mayaman. And then there is also this uh, Zacchaeus. He was a tax collector. Uh, siya po ay uh, maraming uh, mga pag, uh, kakasala. Uh, siya po, uh, being a tax collector, ay uh, talagang malubha ang um, kanyang uh, panunuhol. Alam niyo may tatlong uring panunuhol. Yung isa ay under the table. And yung isa naman over the table. At ang ikatlo, pinakamasahol ay including the table. Ito ginawa lahat ni Zacchaeus. Pero alam po ninyo, kahit na siya ay naging mayaman, pero siya po ay nag-sorry, uh, uh, nag, uh, uh, nagsisi sa kanyang mga kasalanan. At ito ay tinanggap ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Now, with money, you can do a lot of good things like putting up a low-cost house or employ jobless in your company or you help so many people who are suffering. And that is why we are reminded in today about the extreme poverty and to help people who are really hard up. And then, on the other hand, with money, you can also do a lot of evil. You can bribe people, you buy boats, you buy and sell illegal drugs, influence judges' decisions, and so on and so forth. So money, my dear brothers and sisters, is good or bad according to how you use it, how you use money. Money is uh, neutral, but it is how uh, you uh, have that attitude and mind uh, set kung ano ang gagawin mo sa pera. Alam niyo may nagsabi na hindi sa kalaki ng bulsa ng isang tao, kundi yung kalaki ng kanyang puso. Na ibig sabihin na uh, uh, you may be rich and there are some who are rich who are uh, kuriput naman. Ano? Pero mayroon namang mahihirap na kahit mahirap sila ay talagang nagkakagawang gawa at they are uh, also uh, helping those who are poor. The danger of being rich, and this is what Jesus warns against, is the excessive attachment to wealth and the selfish pleasures that go with it. This is shown in today's gospel, wherein our Lord invited the rich young men to follow him. But we know what happened because the rich young man was very wealthy. He had a lot of possessions and, you know, he could not follow the Lord dahil sa dami ng kanyang ari-arian. And so, this young man went away sad. So, in other words, uh, it was not the call of our Lord Jesus Christ, but it was the call of his possessions and his riches that they cannot follow our Lord. Kaya sabi niya, how hard it is for the wealthy people because they cannot part away. 
they cannot leave their wealth, their many possessions. You know, there is a certain uh, uh, illustration or story about the businessman. He resigned as the president of a company and as his observation as follows. Yung aming boss, our corporation chief, he uh, ordered us to work conservatively 19 to 20 hours a day. His whole life was his business, and he demanded the same of his executives. Meetings might be called in the evening or middle of the night or during holidays on Christmas Eve or New Year's Day and Saturdays or Sundays. But one day, you know, this man who was a slave driver, they found him already slumped in his uh, office table and he was a victim of heart attack. So the poor guy, he ended a servant, not of people, but of money. On the reverse side, poverty is not necessarily a virtue. A poor man who curses his lot, whose sole obsession in life is to be as rich as his wealthy neighbor, but sells illegal drugs in order to become rich. That poor man is indeed a poor person. But if despite poverty, one can turn to God and help his fellow men, then poverty is a Christian virtue. Let me conclude with uh, the uh, parable which is related to the parable of our Lord today. This is the parable of Divus and Lazarus in Luke chapter 16, verse 19 to 31. Now this uh, uh, rich man, Divus, ang pangalan. You know, he had a mansion and um, according to that parable of our Lord, he dressed in purple, meaning to say, yung mga mamahalin, ano, mga damit uh, niya. At um, they always um, make a, a fiesta on their, uh, their house and eat really expensive uh, food. There is a poor man named Lazarus, and this Lazarus was a beggar. He was asking from uh, Divus if only they could give him some food, even if it's only a morsel, in order that he would be, uh, he would be able to eat. Pero anong nangyari? Alam niyo po, wala. This Divus turned a deaf ear. Now, Lazarus and Divus uh, died and they both went to the next life. At alam ninyo, mga kapatid, itong si Lazarus ay pumunta sa langit according to our Lord in his parable. But Divus, the rich, wealthy man, he went to the eternal fires in hell. Then, uh, Divus said, Lord, why, why did you let me come to this, to this place? And the Lord was saying, this is something that you should remember. And that is, you were very rich, but you did not even give a morsel of food to this poor man, Lazarus. So Lazarus is now in heaven, enjoying his life. But you, you're in hell because you did not even throw a morsel of food to this very poor man. So that is what you get, that your punishment and Lazarus was given his reward in heaven. My dear brothers and sisters, let us ask ourselves, are you using your riches only for personal needs and self-enjoyment? 
Or do you share some of them with the needy and the less fortunate? After all, if you have talent for making money, or if you have inherited your vast, your vast possessions, please remember that this is all a free gift that came from God. There were lots of people living in grinding poverty during these hard times. Let's live simply and share so others may simply live. Amen. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for as men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we pursue our quest for a better, a better economic condition, let us not forget that there are human values in life which we should uh, not neglect or sacrifice for the sake of material advantage. Let the response be, source of all wisdom, graciously hear us. Source of all wisdom, graciously hear us. For the Holy Father and all leaders of the church, may they guide the faithful with wisdom and factual concern for their spiritual good. We pray. Source, Source of, of all, all wisdom, wisdom graciously, graciously hear us. For the rich and the powerful, may the abundance of material means not blind them to the existence of higher values and the needs of the poor. We pray. Source, Source of, of all, all wisdom, wisdom graciously, graciously hear, us. hear us. For our indigenous peoples, May they enjoy the full respect of their legal rights and solidarity of all Filipinos, we pray. Source of all, all wisdom, wisdom, graciously hear us. us. For all those who live in conditions of extreme poverty, may they find in the Christian community the respect and solidarity which will enable them to improve their condition through education, and opportunities to earn their living with dignity and creativity. We pray. Source, Source of all, all wisdom, wisdom graciously hear, hear us. us. We also pray for the thanksgiving of Julie Ann Sendro, Alfred Haushan, Marian Makabuhay Santos, Dindin La Torre, and Mrs. Josie Lynch, and for the eternal repose of the souls of Miss Damiana Quezon and Mrs. Remeya Makaraeg, we pray. Source of all wisdom, graciously we, hear us. We, we pray, pray also for uh, Gerardo Latore, 
oh, celebrating today his 70th uh, birthday. We pray for thanksgiving for the gift of life and also for continued uh, love and caring, especially for his family. Let us pray to the Lord. Source of all wisdom, graciously hear us. Lord God, give us a real passion for the values that last forever, while not forgetting our daily needs as well as the needs of our neighbor. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness, we may pass over to the glory of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth, he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering, canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with our Pope Francis, our Bishop Ernesto, the clergy, and all your faithful people gathered here, and those who are viewing our online Holy Mass. Remember also, Lord, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you for your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. To him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. We now 
sing the Amanamin. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now, brothers and sisters, let us greet one another with the spirit of reconciliation, forgiveness, and peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace, peace be with you. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Our Lord says, if you eat my body and drink my blood, then I will raise you up on the last day. Happy are we who are invited to the banquet of eternal life. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but only, only say the word and, and my soul shall, shall be healed. healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Prayer for the unity of the family. God our Father, loving and merciful, bring together and keep all families in perfect unity of love and mutual support. Infuse in each member the spirit of understanding, forbearance, and affection for each other. Keep quarrels, bitterness, and pettiness far from them, and their occasional failures instill forgiveness and peace. May the mutual love and affection of parents be a source of loving obedience and discipline. May their chastity and fidelity be an inspiration for their children. Instill in children such self-respect that they may respect others, obey their parents, and those in authority, and grow in mature independence and a tender joy of friendship. Make the mutual affection and respect of families a sign of Christian life here and hereafter through Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. Horatio Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We are concerned and compassion for each other. See us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calongsud. Pray for us. Saints Arnold Jensen and Joseph Reinadamitz. Pray for us. Holy Family. Pray for us. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, um, before the final blessing, uh, I would like to make some acknowledgement 
announcement and uh, appeal. Una-una sa lahat po ay nagpapasalamat uh, kami, uh, rector ng Christ the King Mission Seminary, na si Father Pablito Tagura, SPD. And then, our commentator, ito sa ating misa, si Sister Daryl Ibarra over here. Thank you, uh, Daryl. And of course, lector and server, si Brother Nino Versosa. Maraming salamat, uh, Nino. Special thanks to our sponsors, donors, and benefactors, to our televiewers and online audience, and our seminary staff and personnel. I of also officiate in the St. Thaddeus uh, Novena Mass every uh, 6 o'clock in the evening, uh, live streaming at Diocese and Shrine of Jesus, a Divine Word YouTube channel. So join us, especially, uh, you know, this time we need uh, St. Jude Thaddeus, the saint of uh, those who are uh, despaired or almost giving up faith. St. Jude Thaddeus is the saint of uh, the impossible or of things that are almost despaired of. Then uh, I would like to appeal my dear brothers and sisters uh, for our uh, seminarians uh, studying here in Christ the King Seminary and from other seminaries in the country. We need uh, your help because uh, many of uh, the parents are hard up because of uh, these difficulties, financial difficulties due to the pandemic. So uh, we ask you if you could uh, uh, send uh, some donations uh, to BDO Savings. Account name, Father Isabelo San Luis, that's uh, myself. And uh, the account number, 000-2200-51623. At kasama na rin dito, mga kapatid, uh, please also help uh, some COVID uh, um, patients. Um, there were some who are really hard up. And then we also asked for appeal for uh, Family TV Mass. You may send in your prayer thanksgiving, healing, good health, financial recoveries, and uh, blessings. And then uh, also, uh, wedding anniversaries. You may email uh, Father <clears throat> Brian Negito, mcfisvd at gmail.com. So contact him at 0915-923-6866. So I wish to thank uh, those who have been donating and we are really very uh, grateful to you. But remember that uh, rest assured that God, who is never outdone in generosity, will reward you a hundredfold. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us now go to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. We stand before the grand horizon. Five hundred years of faith, grateful today. We bear the gift of mission.
Faithfully yours until the end To, to your mission, mission.